Hey guys, welcome to Foxy's How To Series. Um, today we're gonna to be focusing on coffee tables. So a little bit of what we think about when we're preparing them, what we take into consideration, and then some tips and tricks that we can share with you that we've learned along the way. So here at Foxy, we focus on property styling, but these kind of things can be taken into your home, they can be used wherever, but this predominantly will be focusing on other home stages and stylists. So we're on site actually today, and the theme of today's style is, is more of a natural, say natural trendy coastal, which aren't really things that we put together, but you'll see artworks kind of coastal, but we still have a lot of blacks and dark colors, so it's still quite moody. So I thought I'd show you kind of little things that you can use to help um, pop on your coffee table. So at Foxy, we love to use different candles. Um, we've got different kind of candle sticks. We've got normal candles, pillar candles. This one's really fun. It kind of fits, fits that theme of um, moody coastal. And then you've got things like vases. So we like to use different heights, different shapes, um, and using the theme of three. So different themes um, and different elements of three. So you've kind of got a pair. Similar with um, property styling, we love to use lots of green. So we use a lot of faux green um, at Foxy. The green, that's it's so important because it helps um, make your photos pop. So the little, like that contrast, especially when we've got such a neutral color palette, the pops of green are gonna help your photos pop. They're gonna make people draw their eye to that photo and help your property stand out. So lots of green. Um, if we were doing a colored property, we would have little maybe different colored vases and that sort of thing to help tie that color throughout your home. Um, different things like it's a coastal one, so we've got kind of ornaments, we've got little trays, we've got bigger trays to help zone um, the setting. So all of these can kind of be incorporated and used differently to help your home stand up. So this is the one we're going with today. We've kind of got that zone of three. We've got a lot of different um, heights in here as well and a, a big nice, um, a chunk of green. So I love personally an open coffee table book. It's fantastic for that lifestyle photography that a, a lot of photographers are going um, more into now in the real estate industry. So today, one thing that we do take into consideration is what kind of coffee table. We take in consideration our the style, the color, so we're using a glass one today, and we take in consideration the size as well, so what different settings you'll use dependent. But in terms of a glass table, we like to put something solid on it. With If it was a solid coffee table, it doesn't matter too much, we don't really have too many rules in terms of that. But if you use, say, a clear glass on here, or clear vase, it's not gonna stand out. It's not gonna um, pack a punch in your photos. It won't, it'll kind of look really wishy-washy. So having that solid white and the solid black makes it, makes it really focused on that area and it's gonna draw the eye there for your photos. Another thing we take into consideration is where people are gonna walk in for the space. So right here is our front door. So this is gonna be the first entry point for the home. So that's why everything is gonna be faced to this direction. So it always feels very open, very welcoming. So it kind of welcomes people in on their open homes to the space. So I've changed up the coffee table a little bit. Um, this is kind of an example of what we try to stay clear of. You'll notice in a lot of our styling, we don't over style. We try to keep it quite minimal. We um, wanna give just enough, but not too much. So because we've now got a book and we've got a tray and we've got all the hot lot going on, we don't want when people walk into the open homes they focus on this. Because although this looks beautiful and the styling looks beautiful, they don't get the styling when they buy the house. So we wanna make sure our styling doesn't take away from the beautiful features of the house, but it complements it. So that's why we just do a little bit, but not too much. So we're back to our original coffee table. Um, one that's a little bit more simple, one a little bit more styled. Um, Obviously this is presented for home stages or property stylists like we are, but if you're searching on this and you stumbled upon it, one good thing that you're obviously living in your home. So you're gonna be a little bit more practical when it comes to your styling. You might have your remote on there. You'll have some coasters. I know I do at home, I have my coasters. Um, and to say you have kids, it's gonna be a little bit less breakable. So this is obviously no one's living in this house and we don't have to take those kind of things into consideration. But if you wanna, 
take this home and switch it up to make it a little bit more practical for your house or your family, then go for it. So thank you everyone for tuning in today. Um, if you would like to see more of us or if you have any questions, please pop them down below or have a look at our other videos, but we look forward to seeing you soon.